What up, party people? This is Sarah from No Matter. Whatever. I'm going to um, make a cooking video today. I did, um, it's going to be a quick, um, what do they call them, like prep meals or packed meals? Food prep packing, crack a lacking meals. But it is also Halloween as of uh, in an hour. So happy Halloween. I got a lot of parties out of the way this weekend. Not out of the way, but did a couple. There's one going on right behind me. Which, uh, I guess is why I'm up so late. I know I'm not sleeping. It's like an amplifier up in here, so... I wish they played drums better, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Party on Wayne and party on Garth. Good for them. And then there's one, um... <clears throat> pardon. There's one last, um, show tomorrow that's gonna be really fun. It's, uh, Edgar Allan Poser's... Uh, Broken Bodies, Latter-day Skanks, and uh, 42 Ford Prefect. So that'll be really fun. That's after work, but for now, I'm adulting. I'm going to make some meals. I'll show you my um, grocery haul before I start cooking. Here's my mini grocery haul. I usually don't shop at Safeway, but I want for convenience. Um, I have a club card, and they do these pre-chopped veggies. Um, it's 10 bucks, pretty much, for... All three, and I just paid for the convenience. My, all my dishes aren't clean right now, and my cutting board's dirty, and I don't have a lot of water left in my tank, so I'm going for pure convenience. I got free range bun skinless chicken breast tenders. I get them already cut up in smaller pieces, so that saves on some Wawa. Um, six eggs, and this is for the meals. I'm just going to do up some veg. I'm going to do, uh, well, I'll just show you as I do it because I'm kind of going to wing it. And then, um, I just got that really fucking lazy-ass rice, which I've never actually gotten. It's already cooked in this bag. You just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. And some, um, garlic, thyme, uh, olives. I kind of already had. I think I got them for booze and just never used them. Put them in with the rice. And then for breakfast, um, some coconut Greek yogurt with raspberries and a banana on the way to work. Um, some eggs if I'm feeling saucy and want to get up early and cook. I also bought, um, not that it's super relevant, but I bought uh, a time saver. I buy the black cold brew coffee. And uh, well, I can just show you. Come on, come with me. Um, creamer. And then um, this was on sale for, I think, $2.50. It's just black coffee. You can brew your own coffee. It tastes better if you brew your own coffee, but um, especially during um, the month of October. That it is now, I have not been getting full nights of sleep, as you can tell. And um, so convenience is key for me this month when things slow down. I'll brew my own coffee like <laughs> like an adult. Alright, so let's get started. Um, yeah. Alright, as you know, I don't have a stand or tripod, so putting it on my counter is the easiest way. But we're doing cauliflower, there's... Um, I didn't measure it honestly, but um, I'm going to do, for the sake of people asking how much, I always eye my ingredients, but I'll just humor people and use a measuring spoon. So, quarter teaspoon of curry powder, um, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of mustard powder, um, that is some... That garlic powder, I'm gonna have to chisel it. Hold on. I found a fossil! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Let me scrape it. I need my precious. Wait. Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm getting high off this shit. Yeah, that's garlic. Do a whole quarter of that. Um, this is a uh, nutritional yeast. It tastes, um, it's yeast, it has nutritional value. It's called nutritional yeast. I can't tell you why or what, but. Sounds, sounds reputable, right? I'm mounding that. It just tastes like, um, tastes like cheese. They have it at this place, that, um, at the Academy Theater. It's a place in Portland where you can go get, um, pizza slices, bomb pizza slices. And, um, the bakery across the street has, like, cookies and Rice Krispie treats there. And they have all sorts of beer, like, local craft beer. So you can get, like, flying pie pizza, craft beer, and, like, local, like, goodies and they play like old 
not old movies, but they're not quite new, like new cinema new, like it's a couple weeks after, and they play classics, like they had like Labyrinth last week, um, it's really cool, but anywho, that was a really long story for, that's the first time I ever had nutritional yeast, is um, they give it to you to put on your pizza, and it's really, really good. All right, so that was me ranting. Um, pepper, I need a, I'm going to grind it, grind it, grind it up, but I need both hands, so I can't show you how much. Um, peppers kind of, put however much pepper you like in your food. I put a shit ton of pepper on everything. And then I'm um, salt, um, a little less of a fan than pepper, but, you know, it does help out. I know people are like, you shouldn't put so much salt, like, I actually don't put a lot of salt, but people, like, freak out about salt, but you're eating, like, a bunch of vegetables. Like, you don't want to taste like total crap. Um, put in a quarter teaspoon of everything. It's kind of what it looks like. Um, I am a classic over-seasoner, and I dig me some curry, so I'm going to throw in a little bit more curry for me personally. A little bit more nutritional yeast. Um, this is kind of, as you can see, like, I guess, like a... A curry Thai thing. I'm actually, um, if you've ever, I think this is a P-Town thing, a Portland thing, but um, there's a place called um, The Whole Bowl, and they make a tally sauce. And I kind of just threw in a lot of the seasonings they use in their tally sauce. Um, lemon and garlic would be really bomb, too. I do not have it. Can't get the lunch back on. All right, I'm going to mix this all up and get it baking, and I'll show you it when it's done. Here's the cauliflower all mixed up. I put in about um, a tablespoon of olive oil too and just mixed it all up and kind of see a little closer. But the turmeric makes it already look almost toasty, which I don't know, I like my food to look nice. But let's put it in the whoa in the super hot oven. I think I have it on like 350, but there's my adorable little oven. All right, now to get super technical. Um, I went to culinary school for years to learn this. Take out your rage on the chicken tea. Take out your rage. Ooh, ooh, I, ooh, I took out a lot of rage. There are cleaner, better ways to do that. You're supposed to take it out and put it between two things of saran wrap and buy a special pokey mallet thing, but this is just fun. All right, before I put the chicken in, um, I got Ingelhofer. Original Stogrand mustard, I believe that's actually made in Portland here, and then um, honey, so honey mustard chicken. Um, I really like stone ground mustard. It's pretty strong, but that's what I did for the whole pack. That's garlic salt, pepper, Johnny's seasoning salt, because um, Johnny's are die. Lowry's is for pussies. And then um, a little bit of um, just um, pepper flake. So it's going to be like a spicy honey mustard sauce. All right, we're getting off this alone. All right, I cooked it for about five minutes on each side, cut it open, it's white. Um, my friend told me to turn it over. Big thing with chicken breast is just don't overcook it. And um, we're gonna take it off the heat now and put it in some foil. And I'm gonna close it up so it can set and so it will stay all juicy. Ju Say. All right, well, while it's all steamy and everything, put it in the foil so it can set, and then the steam keeps it really moist, even though that word is vulgar. Um, maybe use a bigger piece of foil than I did, but you get the gist, right? And just leave it to chillax while you make the rest of your stuff. All right, after you've cooked your chicken, there's all this, like, pretty much just grease from the chicken and mustard. And um, I added a little more water and olive oil. And I'm just going to add the um, the baby broccoli. I mean, I have to put you guys down to do it, but right into that. And then I'm going to season it up with some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and just cook it really simple in the chicken juices. Um, and just add a little bit of seasoning. All right, I'm going to start cooking this up. I also drizzled it with balsamic, the Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and then in the chicken juice. And um, the cauliflower is done. Uh, it turned out, I can't quit eating it. It's actually really, really good. Um, I can't really give you a better view of it. Um, I can't figure... So good. Um, that, um, if you season it right, it's kind of like popcorn. Like, you could just, like, it's good. But, um, 
it would be better even the cauliflower I've not perfected the art of the broiler setting there's a bee setting after you go through like um I'll show you all the nozzles when you wind all the way up um there's a bee I would assume like on an oven when it gets very high that that would be the broil setting but there's no heat or flame up top to broil anything so I'm confused um but if you're not in a van or you know how to use the B setting, <laughs> um, uh, like a char on those, like if you were to broil them and give them like a little bit of a crunch on top would be really good or you'd sprinkle them with a little bit of parm and do that, that'd be bomb. Um, but I just can't perfect that. And also the baby broccoli I'm not going to do for living in a van's sake. But after you cook it, if you want to blanch it, put it in cold water, it will keep it really green and like fresh looking. Also, I'm not going to use that much bottled water to blanch broccoli because that's stupid. <laughs> Alright, the broccoli's all good. I cooked it for about, I don't know, three minutes. It's still crunchy. Um, but it's kind of floppy, but it's tasty. All right, so we have the broccoli, the cauliflower, and the chicken done. And lastly, we're going to do the stir-fry vegetables. So um, I've been using the same pan pretty much for all this, but you do need to clean out your pan because by this time when you cook your broccoli in that mustard, the broccoli will burn and you don't want it to taste like everything else. And so um, let's get started on that. All right. First off, we're going to do some sesame oil. And here my... Uh, water heater or my water pump working away um some hot Worcestershire just a little it's really hard to I'm looking through the phone probably less than that but you know some rice vinegar and then um whoa, balls some spicy chili I can't do this with one hand guys I'll try I will humor you. Some spicy chili powder. This stuff's pretty intense. It's pretty good though. All right, so I'm gonna do that and then throw in my veg. All right, get that going. I also added soy sauce, duh. I totally forgot. All right, it's all cooking down and smelling good. It's red onions, bean sprouts, bok choy, and um, mushroom looks like. Oh, and totally up to you, but right at the end there to soak up the rest of the sauce, I put in one egg for mo more protein and just mix it up like you would scrambled eggs. And um, I like my um, veg with egg in it, though. All right, now for the super lazy part. I nuked that for 90 seconds. Um, it looks pretty decent, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot grosser. Um, let me try it. This will be the test. Oh, it tastes like burning. I should have guessed, but it's actually seasoned pretty decently. All right. Um, I'm going to add a couple of these chopped up in there. Maybe a little. I have like a scoop of sour cream left just because everything I have is a, uh, this is very lentil-y, curry-y, and I already have a lot of that, so mellow it out a little bit. So I'll do that. All right, so now you just go through buffet style. You got your chicken, your broccoli, your cauliflower, which I've eaten most of. I added some sour cream to the rice and some green olives and a little bit of seasoning. You have your um, Asian style veg with egg. And then um, you put it all together. It looks really good. You got the chicken, the cauliflower, broccoli, veg. I had some um, sesame cashews put on top of the veg and then the rice in the middle. And um, this is really, really filling, but it's mostly all vegetables besides a little bit of chicken and there's a little bit of egg and um, the nuts. So you got your protein and you got all your vegetables. Um, yeah, not bad at all. I'm going to get these all set up. All right, so I got my four lunches for work. Um, I don't have enough time to eat a lot of small meals during the day. So I made mine like bigger meals. You could break these up into two or like this one meal could be two meals easily, maybe even three. It's just to eat six small meals a day. I just, ain't nobody got time for that. But, yeah, they look pretty good. Alright, so I got those four meals plus dinner right now. So that's five meals. 
And I got the raspberries and nanners and um, yogurt. Um, I usually have, you can see them there. I go to Trader Joe's Special for those pineapple juices. I just, I love those buggers. I don't know why. They're so good. But, um, yeah, so I got lunch for the next week and breakfast for the next week and waters. I've been trying to, as you can see, um, it's kind of hard to see, but have my health band grow, which are future goals. And what's the other one? Finance, which isn't fun, but, um, I need to grow the F up in that department. I have not been on my A game there. So I'm trying to, um, I have been going to a lot of shows and a lot of parties, but also trying to balance that with, you know, real life. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think anything real quick. This is already a pretty long video, but, um, oh, I did here. Come with me. Um, do you see that? See that? That's Alice Cooper. I went and saw Alice Cooper. <sighs> it was so freaking cool. He brought out the boa and he caught off his own head with a guillotine. Um, his daughter came out and wound him up like an old doll. And he did Feed My Frankenstein, which I didn't think it was Halloween. Everything was like Halloween themed. He did a tribute to Lemmy. Um, they did Ace of Spades. They did Bowie. Um, he did 18. He did all the classics. Like, Bowie was so freaking cool. Blew my mind. All right. Um, yeah, well, I'll catch up on personal stuff later. There's the cooking video. Uh, it gives me time at the end. I was driving the other day, and I was trying to take a picture of something, and I took a video of me, but I was, like, yell rapping at the... I hope it fits because now it's kind of a tease, huh? I was like yell rapping at the cars behind me. Um, it's really bad. It's a really unflattering shot. It's pretty much just like my second chin and me talking shit in traffic. But uh, yeah, if that will fit, I'll put this at the end of the video. If not, um, I will catch you guys next time. This is Sarah for No Matter Whatever. Take a sleazy. Bye. I don't give a flying fuck if you're a trucker. Just get in the fast lane. I gotta go 55 to survive because I gotta stay alive. Gotta do food and drive. That means gas money. And I ain't talking honey. So get around, get off my ass and get in the fast lane. Don't care if you're a trucker, motherfucker. I just need you to get off my ass. Have some class. Go around me. I'm in the middle. It ain't a joke. It ain't a rhyme. It ain't a riddle. You can go left. You can go right. You can get out of sight. Get off my ass. We can do this all night. I'll go 54. I'll go 53. Go 52. Don't give a fuck about me. I, I got time to spare. I just gotta get home. But get off my ass. I will do this all night long. I'm gonna go slower, slower, slower till you get off my ass. Yeah, I'm gonna break this thing. I don't need no more gas. You can go around even though we on a bridge. If you go over the edge, it's none of my business. Cause you're pushing me there over the edge. Let's be clear. Let's get ahead. You can go straight ahead. Take a left, take a right. No, I don't care. No, cause you can ask for night your way out. Get out of my face because I'm 55 and I'm staying in this place. Just go left or right. Oh, you're from Arizona. Why don't you go home? That's where you own it. You can go back there because I don't care. Just get off my motherfucking ass. Get into the fast lane. Get to the fast lane. Fuck. <laughs> I just watched the video with that rap. I mentioned it, so I'll keep it in there. But Mom, I need to get some rhythm and maybe a better angle next time, but congratulations. If you made it through that whole cooking video, you earned that crappy rap. All right. So this is Sarah. <laughs> this is Sarah for no matter whatever, take it sleazy. <laughs>